This is a video on how to repair a single handle mowing faucet. About a year ago, this thing started to not close or not turn off properly. And eventually, after it broke off, just like that. And what there is, is there's a little plastic piece in here that breaks. And so now we gotta get this apart and repair it. I ordered this off of Amazon. It's a uh, repair kit for a mowing faucet. And it has all of the pieces that I guess break over time, but I think that's the main one that breaks is that piece right there. There's instructions that come with it, but I haven't even looked at them to be honest. Um, but the, the way to get this apart is you gotta unscrew this piece. And if it's tight, you can get a wrench, like a strap wrench to, uh, to grip it because you don't wanna scratch it. And then you have this and the problem I had at first was I was like, well, I got to get this piece out and I was, and I was trying to, and this just spun and it, and the screw wouldn't spin out. So what you have to do is you have to remove this piece, which just kind of, let's see, it kind of, well, what we should do first is turn the water off. Okay, I got the water off. It's a good idea to get the water off because I had the problem of this thing. I, I couldn't get the screw out and it just spun and spun. So what I had to do is I had to lift up on it and then get a wrench in here to hold the thing because this will just spin. Well, first you gotta get this little black piece off that threads off like that. And then there's this gray piece and you, with the water off, you can pull it up and then you can lift up. And if you look underneath, you can see there's a little a flat part that you can put a wrench on. And that's what I had to do in order to get this screw out at the top is is get all this and get a wrench on it. But the screw is loose now. It spun a little bit, but it's loose enough now. And this is the piece that broke. And here's the new one that came in the kit. And it broke, you know, it just snapped in half basically from years, literally years. This, this has been installed for, uh, 13 years, um, but I have had trouble with it the last year. Uh, this gray piece, it's important that it has a raised rim and that faces towards the front of the faucet. Um, the handle just broke off, but this piece actually comes out, that's a piece that attaches, that's actually what attaches to this piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and snap the new one in. There's a, there's a deeper circle um, and you wanna put the deep, the deeper circle goes towards the stem down. So I'm gonna snap it in place with that larger hole on the bottom. There we go. And then this goes on to here with, there's a tiny screw hole here that the 
handle screws to. And, the, and that screw hole is towards the front of the handle. So it faces towards the front. And I'm just gonna put that little plastic piece. I'm gonna actually have to push the stem down back to the off position, to the closed position. And I'm gonna put this little, actually, I'm looking at it. I have it turned to the uh, to the left, so I'm going to take some needle nose pliers and actually pull up on it and turn it so that it's facing that flat part is facing uh, to the front. And now I'm going to put this piece on here, and I'm going to. Place the plastic piece over, and now this black piece will screw down. You put that after you do that, and, and then I'm going to tighten that. Now, maybe I shouldn't have put that on because I still have to put the screw in the top to screw it to the stem. But Moen claims in the instructions that you don't have to turn the water off, so I'm going to tighten this in here. It is spinning. I'm going to take this black piece back off and actually pull up on it. Yeah. There's actually, I just noticed, there's a hole right here that you can stick something in to hold that stem steady while you tighten the screw at the top. So I'm gonna grab something to, to put in there. Okay, I found a, this is just a file, but that hole, I'm gonna stick a file in it, and then I'm gonna use a Phillips screwdriver to tighten while I hold the stem steady. Because it does, I guess it's that, that I used the new screw that came in the kit, and it must have had the thread lock must have made it tight. Go in pretty tight, but that's pretty good. I don't think... Maybe I'll try again. I, I'm afraid of getting it off center, but it doesn't seem to be really moving once I have this bar in here. Yeah, that's pretty snug. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tighten that Put that gray piece back down on there and then thread this back on there. And, oh, wait, <laughs> I forgot the black piece. This black piece goes on. And then, this piece and this piece be careful that you don't cross thread it because it's the threads are plastic so they probably could tear up pretty easily now the handle goes on with this allen screw This screw that I'm putting in, this is the old one, but it's just a, it's just an Allen screw that that, go, that attaches the handle to that metal piece, which is attached. All right, it looks like it's working. You 
turn to the left, you turn to the right. There's a cap that goes on this. All right. Uh, okay, I got the water turned back on and I'm gonna test it out now. That should be the center right there. And then that should be hot. And I do feel it's getting warmer. And then to the right should be cold. And it definitely is cold. Uh, there's two valves underneath that I turned off, but that basically is it. And originally I thought that maybe the the packing and the stem was bad or the you know whatever the valve that you know that that directs the water was bad but really what what was bad was just that little plastic piece uh that that broke inside and it actually worked for a while with the with the plastic piece probably halfway broken i don't know but but uh it's fixed now thanks for watching